One of the luxuries of staying in a full hookup campground is the ability to use water freely for showers and cooking. The sewer connection allows you to leave your RV's gray valve open so water can run right out instead of filling up your gray tank. Of course, the black valve can never be left open since solids will build up in the tank. But there's some controversy about the gray valve. Some people recommend never leaving the gray valve open either as it can allow odors from the park's sewer system into your RV. Of course, leaving the valve closed means staying on top of the water level in the gray tank and dumping it every couple of days, even when you're staying in a full hookup site for an extended period. Since each drain has a P-trap, leaving the gray valve open shouldn't allow odors into the RV. The water in the traps blocks odors from entering the RV's living space. There is, however, an unprotected pipe with a direct connection to the sewer hose, the tank vents on the roof. This can allow air from the sewer system to come up through the roof vents. If you've ever smelled sewer odors in a full hookup campground, it's possible that someone's RV is venting the park's sewer system out through their roof. If you're like us, you'd rather forget about gray water during a long stay in one RV park. In a recent RV travel newsletter, we read about the easiest solution ever for getting the best of both worlds. Simply leave a short section of your sewer hose hanging off the end of your sewer hose support, directly beneath the RV. Water will accumulate in this small section of hose, creating your own whole house pee trap. The ability to enjoy the benefit of a full hookup site without having to dump the gray tank and without any sewer odor is definitely the best of both worlds. Our slunky sewer hose support is almost 10 years old and still like new. If you'd like to know where to get one, we'll put a link in the video description, along with a link to our 360 siphon roof vents. Thanks so much for watching. If you missed our previous video about converting fluorescent lights to LEDs, you can watch it here. And if you enjoy our videos, please be sure to give them a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.